Hey guys, I'm Time Itself, and this is some Squad Deathmatch on Grand Bazaar. Now I want to talk about some general concepts for FPS kind of games. Uh, we'll, we'll see where I'm going with this. But this is somewhat general to Squad Deathmatch, although you will kind of notice this stuff in other game modes, but especially notice it in other games, especially with free-for-all modes. And it's, it's fairly typical. It's kind of an idea of map flow. And the general thing is that people spawn on the outside of the map, the edges where the spawn points are and then they run into the middle where the action is and everything just <laughs> well you get shot from every possible direction by everything <laughs> everything you can see and you know I would kind of liken it to a black hole effect you get sucked in from the outside and you know that's where everything is it's where the action is but it's also where the pressure is and you, you get stuck between enemies on each side of you and there is no escape and you just there is no winning and the best you can do is just to hold out as long as possible well and in this case get as many kills as possible so, let's talk about some of this in the context of battlefield now me I don't really enjoy having to deal with the vehicles the tanks and whatnot and so part of me thinks oh let's just go into the middle hallways and get away from that stuff well as you saw in the opening clip <laughs> <laughs> it can still get you. And if the driver is insane enough, they can drive it into that hallway. Even the uh, curved one that goes around the side, it normally gets stuck and no one can get around it. <laughs> Again, if you've got a crazy enough driver, the thing can go into these hallways. So the idea, let's just go into the clusterfuck hallway, or maybe into golden or banana or whatever you want to call it, to get away from that thing. Well, it, it doesn't entirely work, so eventually, <laughs> it's just so they you up having to deal with it. The thing is, at least on Grand Bazaar, there are kind of three ways to this central point on the map. And that is from either end of Clusterfuck Hallway, and then in through the side curved one. There are four squads. And so, uh, you know, you'll work your way into the middle a lot of the times, and then just get shot. And yeah, you'll get kills by virtue of the fact that people are running directly at you. They're, I mean, they're charging you, and so it's, it's kind of hard to not see that they're coming. And yeah, you can pick up a lot of kills, and it can be really, really high action, really epic the same time it you kind of get stuck and there just is no escape because as you try to push out you you know try and engage your enemies in the front while you're getting shot in the back and so you just get pinned down squads you know people looking in every possible direction and it's just it's a no-win situation it often feels like so lots of action but not a whole lot of staying alive now, part of how things end up going really d does depend on how aggressive the other squads are. But again, you get four squads in the game. In this map, at least, there are three entrances to that place. And so, you're not going to stay anywhere for very long before you find yourself getting flanked. Uh, part of the idea is that well, any game with respawns, and they tend to be on the outside of the map. That's in the edges. That's how it works. As soon as you respawn in, as soon as you clear off that respawn point... It's entirely possible that people will respawn in behind you. I know Tehran Highway, up top, on the higher level, on the upper levels, towards the defender side on Rush, there's some spawn points back there that as soon as you run into the building in front of them, people can spawn in right behind you. Now, in a lot of game modes, this is less of an issue because you're not seeing as many squad wipes. Or, you know, if you're playing Conquest, people can spawn in on the points they can control. But... In a squad deathmatch, you end up with squad wipes happening fairly frequently. And, you know, if you're not getting squad wipes, then they're probably reviving each other and you're not getting points, so it's not really a good thing. So lots of people are coming in in mass as a squad from one of those random spawn points on the outside of the map. Because, you know, at least what my team normally does, someone takes a random spawn point and everyone else spawns in on them so that we stay together as a squad. And so we'll be all be charging in from one direction. And if we catch a squad with only, you know, even if they have one person watching the direction we're coming from, things aren't going to go too well for them. So, and that's what you're seeing here again and again is we get in this middle area, and you know I can drop people, but they're getting revived. You know, and I can revive my teammates, but in the end, you know, we're just getting shot from every possible direction, and there is no escape. And I can't keep the enemies from reviving each other, so we're not really getting any points. And we're just kind of dragging out the game. <laughs> uh, so as far as making sure that the people you drop stay down, I really see two options. One is to let them get a little further out there so that more teammates have line of sight, so that it's riskier for any of their teammates going for a revive. Uh, just let them get further out of cover before you go ahead and drop them. 
or your team and squad can just keep pushing forward so that their teammates don't really have a way to get forward to where the bodies are in order to get those revives. You know, that's, uh, that's at least in squad deathmatch, I think our team ends up like 67 kills here on our way to 50, and that just really shows you, and this wasn't a particularly bad one, but just how many revives you tend to see in, these, in this game mode. So, making sure the people you kill stay down is pretty important. Now, if you've been paying careful attention to the gameplay, you notice we've pushed in, cleared out Golden or Curve or whatever you want to call it, and we're pushing forward to Clusterfuck Hallway, but I realized this is squad deathmatch. I need to turn around. Now, we, we had been uh, shot from the back in a similar situation earlier in this game. That just goes to show you that, you know, turn around. I had no reason, there's no reason to think that anyone was back there other than the fact that we had managed to clear and were pushing forward. But that's how this game mode goes. Like I said, it's a black hole in the middle of the map. Everybody just runs, gets sucked into the middle, and the pressure just tears you apart. So, if you're looking to be in the action, even if your safety isn't <laughs> isn't a sure thing, go ahead, run into the middle of the map. If you're looking to stay alive a little bit longer, go ahead and work around the outsides. Try to find the spawn points, the popular traffic routes, and use those. And, no matter what, since in Battlefield you can revive, try to find some way to make sure that the people you kill stay dead. <laughs> well guys, I hope this commentary has been useful. Next time you find yourself playing a little squad deathmatch, or if you just find yourself in any game mode where it's not just one side versus the other, free-for-all, cutthroat, what have you, just don't get in the center unless you're ready for all the pressure that's going to be coming your way. Or maybe to make it even more general. You know that place that guy you just killed was standing? It might not be the safest place. You might not want to go there. You might die. <laughs> anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later. Ammo, over here! More rounds, over here, now! I need ammo, man! Testing ammo!